Hello out there, you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy where we are devoted to building excellence in students, especially when it comes to the basics of the STEM subjects. Our video today is a big shout out to all of you out there who have helped us to reach the 20,000 subscriber marks. Our fans, our students, our colleagues, our lecturers, all of the people that have contributed in one way or the other. For all those feedback that you have been giving us over the years, we just want to say a big, big thank you. Like we used to say in our dialect, Eshe Nagode Dalu. Thank you very much, okay? Now, as a reason of give back, we are going to be actually sharing some insights that can help you develop proficiency in whatever it is that are going to be laying your hands upon. So make sure you watch to the end because we're also going to be giving a huge announcement on the next trajectory part for Day Tooth Academy, particularly for those of you who have been asking us how do we make our content? What are the materials we use? What are the hardware? What are the software that we use? Just ensure that we work to the end and you get that information, okay? All right. So, generally in life, many things you want to do, but you don't really, really know the way to go about it. And yet, you really desire to lay your hands upon and become quite good to become proficient in it. Maybe like here, yeah, students, you are focused on becoming better in your academia. Now, I just want to share a personal story because um, in those days when I was in secondary school, I used to draw a lot. And then I was one of those students that you bring your drawing to help me draw the skeleton in biology and co. But then life happened, career, my course of study, family life, settling down and co. And then I just took it upon myself to go back to drawing and lay my hands on drawing this particular portrait. I was like, okay, let's see. Let's give it a shot and see what will come out of it. And you can imagine this. For me, this is not, this is not there at all. This is not good enough. Because looking at where I'm coming from and the desired output. So I was like, okay, since I'm not yet there, let me just keep practicing. And from time to time, I just keep at that. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to be preparing a lecture on math tutorial. Okay, but then before starting, I was just drawing Superman. And okay, I was like... This is not too bad, but for where I'm going, maybe I still need to yet keep at it. And again, this is one of the videos I'm watching on one of the people I follow on fashion business, Stitch Address. It's like an hour long video. So as I was watching, I was just drawing her, drawing her. And this drawing took like an hour, but again, I was saying that, okay, this is looking far better than what I started with trying to do the portraits the other time. And then I just took it upon myself that, okay, instead of just drilling your hand, drilling your hand, and trying to get something done. Why not learn from the masters? So I enrolled with Schoolism on Fundamental of Drawing. is one of the courses there. And this is one of the exercises at the early stage that I needed to lay my hands upon so that I can actually be better at drawing. And I was beginning to notice that, okay, it looks as if following the insight from these masters, these professionals, these great artists as they are sharing it, I'm actually becoming quite, quite better. So the very first tip, if you are planning to actually be proficiency in anything, first and foremost, look out for those who have gone the way. The masters, the professionals, the disciples, the mentors, make sure you learn from them. Their contribution is going to give you a whole lot of insight, much more than you could have learned on your own. So after going through the basis of that course, not yet through with it, I just went back to lay my hands upon this particular portrait that I was trying to draw initially. And, oh, to the best of my knowledge, this is coming out way better than what I attempted initially, okay? Coupled with the number of videos that I watched on YouTube, I was like, let me just put all this insight from the masters, from the professionals into practice. And now I'm seeing that there is a whole lot of improvement that I'm getting. So the second tip I would like to share, apart from learning from the master, is that practice what you are learning. You cannot just stop on the basis of the fact that hey, you listen to one lecturer, you listen to one guru, you listen to one master. You can imagine somebody trying to trade on Forex or cryptocurrency, and yes, you just want to listen, listen, without putting your hands into practice. Definitely, you will not be able to do any trade. So, practicing what you are learning is going to help, even as a student, practicing the lectures that we are giving out will definitely help you to become better and better. And then, thirdly, for this particular drawing, it was a big insight that, see, you need to challenge yourself. The truth of the matter is that you cannot just be limiting yourself to the very few things that you, you have heard. You, have known. you need to go out of your way and also 
challenge yourself. So I lay my hand upon this particular drawing of a dog, and I was also flattered. I was mesmerized by the outcome that I was actually able to get from it as a reason of first the insight I gained from the masters, the persistency in practicing what I learned, and then the fact that I was challenging myself. So those three tips seriously help me. I'm still learning. It's not as if I've, I'm, not, I'm not a master. I'm not quite good to the extent to which I'm looking at. No, no. I'm even looking at doing stylus characters. So it's still a whole long, a long way to go. But already, I am seeing a whole lot of improvement. So to just capture those points, make sure you learn from the masters. Make sure you actually gather around people who can be your mentor, who can be your disciples, who can put you through what they have gone through. And then as you are learning from them, the whole news is also lying on you to get your hands dirty. Practice the things that they are putting you through and then challenge yourself. Now, of course, this is a, this is a channel devoted to building academic excellence in you. Even in your academics, you can actually look for... Look, Deputy Academy is putting out resources out there to actually build your proficiency in this. That's what we are doing. We want to take you from a novice to an excellence in success, okay? So you can learn with Dave Tooth Academy and then you will see a whole lot of changes that are going to come with you. And you also keep challenging yourself. You can imagine where we started from with our videos on Dave Tooth Academy and where we are today. We were able to gain that traction as a reason of the persistency, the practice that have come all this while. And today we can even scale into digital presentation of solutions even on graph okay and we notice all of those as a reason of the fact that we learn from the masters particularly we learn from Khan academy what he was doing and the impact he was making our like we can also replicate this with the african student okay and then we started doing that started doing that and today we are seeing a whole lot of improvement and that can also be your story too it can also be your journey that as you are learning for the case of academics, you are learning from day to the academy, from wherever it is, whatever level you are, you can gain that success as a reason of learning from us. But it doesn't stop there. You also need to put your hand to work. You also need to practice. And you also need to challenge yourself. Take Maybe you want to take NECO. NECO is only known in Nigeria. Why not also practice with questions from WAEC? Why not also practice with questions from the international exam bodies, GCEGED? You are going to prep you a lot, okay? So if you are going to be doing that, definitely... Your path to excellence is already charted out. And we can assure you, with diligence on your part, with God helping you, that you can achieve. Now, for the huge announcement that we want to make, okay, over this while, a lot of people have been questioning us and asking us, how do you make your videos? What are the software that you are using? What is the hardware that you are using? Okay, so very soon, all of those questions we are going to be answering by rolling out our membership into our YouTube channel. Okay, so... For a token, you are going to be able to access our behind the scenes videos in which we show you all the steps that we actually take to prepare our videos. So in that membership channel, you'll be paying some amounts, some tokens, and you'll gain insight into how our videos are made, the kind of hardware that we make use of, the software that we make use of, and then you can also go ahead to build even something better than what we are building, okay? We can actually look at the sky, not even being the limit. It can be the launch pad. But just watch out very soon when it's ready. That announcement will be made. And particularly content creators, teachers, instructors out there, you can have a feel of how we do all of this so that you can also do something much more better even than what we are doing. I want to say a big thank you for all of you for staying tuned. Thank you for all this while for supporting us, for encouraging us. We do not take it for granted at all. We just trust that moving on from here, we also ascend to higher heights and the sky will not even be the limit. It's Dave Academy and until next time, God bless you.